Welcome back to Village in Motion this snowy Wednesday, February the 20th. I am Clint Lambert. I am the host today. And in this segment of the show on Village in Motion, I have Roy O'Connor, who is our resident uh, board member. Board member, yeah, okay. I was trying to think what, what, how to rephrase it. Okay, resident board member. Right. Uh, and he's actually our live-in board member. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, in regards to us. Roy, welcome. Okay, good morning. Good to see you, Clint. Good to yeah. see you. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I, I wasn't sure whether we'd be on today or not with all that you know, snow coming down I outside, know. right? Yeah. But isn't it nice to know that we're nice and safe and warm and comfortable and everything's being taken care of? Yeah. I mean, it truly is worry-free today. I know. It's wonderful. Uh, when I was coming down the hallway a little earlier, I passed a couple of the housekeeping people yeah. and uh, said, gee, you made it in okay. They said, no, we stayed overnight, yeah. anticipating. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. And, and, you know, it's the last snowfall. We had like 125 people that stayed overnight. Yeah. And, you know, the last I have no idea how many last night. But, I know. Uh, but it's, it's really wonderful that they're that devoted to us and that Absolutely. committed uh, to making sure that we're Absolutely. safe and, and have, have a good time. Yeah, it goes to say, you know, I mean, and we have a lot of long-term employees here too, and I yes. think it's that part of that dedication, and uh, you know, they really believe in it, and yes. so that's important, and uh, so we're 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 uh, enjoying the benefits yeah. of that. And I and I hope everybody says thank you when they see the employees. Absolutely. I mean, let them know how much we greatly do Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, and remember, we're... staff appreciation funds coming up. <laughs> yeah. Won't be long. That's exactly, right. and keep that in mind. Yeah. You know, so, so what, much. What you got this morning? Well, so much going on. You know, one thing I just wanted to mention is uh, 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 finally Dogwood Commons. You yes. know, where uh, the last uh, three weeks they've been uh, moving uh, the clients, the residents, over into the new rooms, and it's been going great. Uh, okay. Next week they're going to move. Uh, I think it's uh, s excuse me, 26 mm. memory uh, patients. Oh, so okay. they're up on the fourth floor. Right. Uh, some of our transition ambassadors uh, are going to be helping out on oh, that. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so they asked, because, you know, it's just, uh, it, there's plenty of staff to help and everything, right. but then uh, we have this transition group that uh, of independent living residents mm -hmm. who help out over there to help, particularly the first couple of days when people are uh, transitioning. Yeah. So we'll Tremendous. be involved with that next week. Very good. So that's going good. And, you know, one of the things that's really of interest to the board, of course, is, uh, the resident survey, right. and uh, we're very pleased with the results this year. Uh, Chandra at the last Coffee with Execs gave some very high level mm -hmm. uh, uh, reports on that. And you know, it is significant. Uh, we kind of had three years where we were just kind of staying the same or dropping a little bit, right. but we really did jump on uh, particularly dining, as you know, yes. come out number one is, and uh, also uh, our wellness and fitness programs mm -hmm. came out number one. The uh, other thing is a couple of good questions. One is uh, when the residents respond to their confidence in the long term here at Green right. Spring. That was a very, very positive response on right. that. And value for price paid. Yes. So I think, you know, things are looking good. And I, I'm so pleased to see it finally up. And I mean, yes. you know, it's significant statistically, you know, when you jump four points right. exactly. from an 82 to an 86. So yeah. thank you, folks. and. Let's hope we can keep it going through this year. Well, and, and the thing is, yeah. as long as the staff continues to do the outstanding job they're doing, right. there's no reason for us to, to be upset. Exactly. exactly. I mean, you know, so. so that's and this is an important measure for the board, okay, as we right. take a look at Green Spring. And, uh, <clears throat> and, you know, each year we do evaluate the board, what we call the uh, management performance evaluation, mm -hmm. and this is a key input to it. So we're really pleased with that. Uh, and talking about the board, uh, I'd like to just spend a, a few minutes because I think maybe there's some new people out there, plus maybe even some of the old people right. who uh, often wonder about the different board organizations we have. Mm -hmm. But we have what's called National Senior Campuses. Right. And that is a not-for-profit board that governs over all 16 of the communities that are under National Senior Campuses. Okay. And uh, that board has, uh, I think, eight active committees. Okay. And they do really all what I call the heavy lifting, okay? Mm. I mean, it's everything from budget and finance to operations and risks, governance. Uh, one in particular, well, investments. I serve yes. on the investment committee. But one that's of interest now particularly is communications. Okay. And that's a new committee that was just formed uh, in the fall. Mm. And so they're really just off and running. Okay. And Jackson Bain, you know, who is the yes. chair of our board and also our CRC, Community Relations Committee out there, 
Anybody forgot that And, there, and there's three of you on it. Just, that's right, myself and <clears throat> Eileen Erstad and Jackson Bain. Jackson Bain is the chair. But he is heading up this new communications committee. And it's perf a perfect fit because, mm -hmm. you know, his background, of course, is public relations and television and communications. Right. And uh, matter of fact, he still has his own private little company where yes. he does work and that. But the thing that they're really trying to do is, you know, we hear a lot about Erickson Living, our mm -hmm. management company, right. but you don't hear a lot about resident senior campuses. No. And this is the not-for-profit, okay, mm -hmm. that oversees these communities, right. which are all not-for-profit, okay? Yeah. And the focus is much more long-term than the Erickson business. I right. mean, they're, they're operating the community very well day to day. Mm -hmm. We have a great staff here, we have a lot of confidence in them. But I don't think uh, a lot of people, the average person realizes that res resident senior campuses is actually the largest not-for-profit CCRC operator in the country, okay? Wow. I mean, uh, so, with, so with the 19 campuses, right? Yeah, and when you measure, you know, either number of residents, number right. of campuses, and so on. and there's so much value in that, okay, because we can share ideas, we mm -hmm. can uh, have the benefits of uh, corporate purchasing in terms right. of across the board uh, types of things. But anyway, so he's got the, uh, the mission to try to get out a message. So maybe you'll start to see a little bit more, you'll see a little more publicity okay. about resident senior campuses and, and what it means. And uh, so again, folks, just keep in mind that we, uh, the 16 of the 19 right. communities are all not-for-profits. They have their own uh, board of directors. Okay, they own, well, eight of them own their own buildings, grounds, and equipment like ourselves, right. so-called mature right. communities. The others are still in development. Uh, but on top of all this, the seed that's across all is national senior campuses. Right. And now this uh, community relations committee that I serve on with Eileen and Jackson uh, are really the key representation to the community. Uh, and so it's good to see him up there, you know, running that committee and getting it going. Uh, by the way, I would mention that uh, the other committee that I serve on, the uh, Investment and Treasury Committee, right. uh, we're doing real well. You know, everything took a big dive. I'm sure people saw that in their <laughs> own portfolios in yes. December, but we completely recovered back in January. Uh, and right now, since we went with Vanguard, mm -hmm. and that's our management uh, investment company. And we went with Vanguard last year? 2015. 2015, that's right. Yeah. Wow. So this is Time flies. October, <laughs> yeah, yeah, October uh, 15. Yeah. Uh, we've been getting a return of about 6.5% per year okay. uh, on an annualized basis. So it's, uh, it's, it's really conservative, 60% equity, 40% fixed income. Right. Uh, but this is important, residents, because uh, this is what helps fund the improvements and things that we're making. Right. For example, Dogwood Commons, yeah. uh, the first example of, the, of that, without any uh, kind of assessment being mm -hmm. placed on the right. residents. So that, that's what funds all of that. And uh, one, one resident the other day heard about all the changes that are coming right. and said, Roy, we're not going to run that down, are we? I said, <laughs> no, don't worry about it. There, we have... Uh, plenty of uh, funds and we have some good long range plans right. for the use of that. So I think we're in good shape on that. Very good. The other thing is going up, uh, did you have a question? No, go ahead. Go ahead. The other thing is going up uh, right now is uh, the annual audit is in process. Mm -hmm. We use uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers as the outside okay. firm. Uh, they'll complete that probably around April. Okay. And then in May, uh, actually May 17th, I just got the date if you mm -hmm. want okay. long range planning, we're going to have our uh, spring town hall meeting. Hunters Crossing, uh, two o'clock on that day, and we'll go over the annual report. So May seventeenth, May two, two p.m. Hunters yeah. Crossing. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that's the only large venue we have these days. That's you right. know, so we we had to lock that in early. Okay. And uh, so that uh, I think is pretty well set. The uh, I think that's about it from a board standpoint. Uh, it you know just incidentally, on um, Jackson was just here yesterday, Jackson Vane and. Uh, he brought one of his uh, outside consultants, okay, and we spent some time, uh, you know, talking about Green Spring, right. and uh, I showed them around a little bit, and uh, so I think they, they were really quite impressed, you know, when, right. you, when you take a look at this place and realize 2,000 residents, okay, right. and uh, 
uh, it's a, you know, a going operation. So they appreciate getting input because they're working on this right. new uh, publicity that will be coming out on Richmond and senior campuses. Well, you know, it's really amazing how much publicity we do get. Mm -hmm. And it's like this past Sunday, the uh, TV guy that comes with the Washington Post. Yeah. You know, the center section was all about uh, Green Spring. Okay, great. So, uh, which I thought was fantastic. Yeah, very good, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they do a lot of that local, and that's particularly focused. I didn't catch yes, that, but yeah. that's good. Glad, but, uh, glad to see that, yeah. Even though they had pictures that were from four or five years ago. Oh, okay. In regards to it, but at least it was all, all about Green yeah, Spring. Yeah, right. But you have done a marvelous job, Roy. You have been our resident director for six, six years, years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. In regards to it, right. and uh, you serve on our finance committee, yeah. and now you're serving uh, yeah. on the board's uh, investment, as well, right? investment, investment committee as well, right? Okay. Exactly. Very good. And uh, it's uh, you know I enjoy doing it. <clears throat> I think uh, uh, we've got a good uh, CRC committee that uh, with Jackson and Eileen, and I think I've mentioned this before. I really kind of like this new organization because I think we now have three directors right. really focused on Green Spring uh, a lot more than in the past, you know, so that, that's a good. That's and good if we job. have questions, give you a call, stop you in the hallway. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Again, thank you very much for okay. coming. Thanks for sharing that information with us. Okay. And we look forward to May 17th. Yep. 2 p.m. Right. Uh, Hunter's Crossing. Hunter's Crossing for right. town hall meeting. Yeah, right. right. Okay. Yeah. Very good.